everyone welcome or welcome back if you've seen any of my videos before my name is melissa channel here is melissa underscore done six you can also find me on tiktok and instagram by that same name i like to talk about makeup play with makeup that sort of thing so if that interests you maybe feel free to subscribe like share leave me some comments i'd love to grow this channel a bit more I'm a little bit late because fall has technically started already, but I am going to share with you today 10 palettes I picked out of my current collection that I think are perfect for fall. When I think of fall, I think of very saturated jewel tones, murky tones, olives, mustards, royal blues, red, very rich pigmented colors. So that's what I went in mind when I was choosing these palettes. Something that reminds me of that transition of the leaves changing colors, those colors we're seeing in nature during this time of year, and just like bold, fun makeup. Because fall is the season for matte, <laughs> um, heavier, you could say, makeup, very colorful. This is like a makeup lover's favorite season. So let's get into my top 10 palettes for fall. These are in no particular order. I think they're all great for fall. I'm going to first start off with this Quint from Dior Beauty. It's in the shade Jungle. That's what that looks like. So this one I feel like is great for if you want to experiment with some greens or for some colors but you're scared of very bright colors this is a very safe way to go about trying that out dior's um, formula isn't the most pigmented but it's easy to work with so here you've got like a rosy um i guess you can call it like a copper a champagne shimmer in the center, you've got more of this like satin, deep brown, this like chartreuse olive green, and a matte forest green. So this palette is perfect if you just want to like sprinkle in some green into your look. Perfect for fall beautiful shades to work with and Dior does these in a way that the color story just makes sense all the shades go together very easy to use very very cohesive palette so this is my number one of the 10 <laughs> palettes I'm recommending today next is from one of my favorite indie brands and just overall eyeshadow formulas comes from Sydney Grace this is their Mountain Trail palette. If you love green and you love mustard, you need this palette. Look at that. Like these murky, browny, yellow oranges are so good for fall. Look at this green. So beautiful. And if you've never tried Sydney Grace, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best eyeshadow formulas to exist super easy to work with they have so many colors um, i think this is a great palette to have once upon a time pat mcgrath was releasing very beautiful innovative color stories i don't know where she got lost in all the pinks i still love that brand and i have hope that she will turn it around eventually but again, once upon a time, she was putting out palettes with greens and blues. This palette got some slack because they were a little bit messy about making it the Star Wars palette when it was already an existing palette, whatever. But this is the Pat McGrath Mothership. I think it's Midnight Sun. Yeah. Mothership. Four. Sorry, it's New Mark. It's Roman numerals and my brain right now is tired. Midnight Sun. This is what she looks like. So you've got some matte neutrals to work with. You've got like this 
sort of like terracotta red matte, this beautiful orange, an olive, and let me select this one. It's beautiful copper shade. It's like a champagne. Like this is a great palette for fall. This color story just screams fall. You get so many different finishes, so many different colors, but they still work together. Like you're like, where did this like blue purple fit into all this? But trust me, like I've paired these two together and the juxtaposition just looks beautiful on the eyes. Prom I promise you. Um, so this is Another palette I think is beautiful for fall. I didn't want everything to be like super like olivey and mustard. Um, so I actually pulled out this one from Lethal Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Dusk palette. This one's a little bit different than the rest of the palettes I pulled out. Like, you're still getting these, like, brighter pops of color, but they're not, like, the colors you'd normally see around summertime. They're a bit more saturated, a bit more grungy. I just think this is such a fun palette, and Lethal Cosmetics makes amazing eyeshadows as well. And I love that their palettes, same with Sydney Grace. These are magnetic. These have, like, little holes you can punch out and customize your own palette if you'd like. So that is what that looks like. You're getting a ton of matte shades, which is great. And beautiful shimmers as well. Their shimmers can be a little bit crumbly, but that doesn't like bother me too much. Mine looks a little, not that great, because when I got it, the black eyeshadow came broken. So it's just a mess. But it is the My Dream palette from Natasha Denona. This, I think, is a very, I want to say safe palette. Very cohesive color story. Like, if you're into, like, these, like, mauvey pinks and peaches and more warm neutral shades, this is a great palette for you. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Obviously, you can pair whatever eyeshadow you want together. Makeup um, is for fun. Do what you want. But she designs her palettes in a way that the colors that are by each other create a color story. So you don't really have to think about what you're going to do. You can just go down each row or across each column or even diagonal. And you've got like this is a six pan here if you wanted or a three pan, you know, she just makes it easy for you for users. Um. I'm not a huge fan of that like cream to powder formula, but overall I think this is one of her better palettes. Next up is from Viseur. I may butcher the pronunciation of this. It's the Bijouette. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. But this one, if you love like bright saturated jewel tones, look at that. It's so pretty. And another great thing about them, they they also pop out. Um, they're giving you like a variety of finishes. So you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four mattes. This one is like a matte with some micro glitters in it. And these more jewelry colored ones are more of like a foiled metallic. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I really like their packaging, like how compact it is. And it's got a little magnetic closure, like easy to travel with, easy to just like throw in a bag if you have to. Really love this for fall. This next palette is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Eye Palette. Smoky eyes are forever. This is what she looks like. Stunning. Such a beautiful palette. I need to get more use out of this. Um, but again, if you're like one that doesn't like, like super bright colors, this one is perfect. And I just love the shimmery shades. They are so metallic and so pretty and just so wearable. 
highly recommend this palette and she really grounds it with the matte shades they're all very um, user-friendly pigmented wearable great easy palette to work with when I was going through my collection to pick out 10 eyeshadow palettes today um, I really wanted to have representation from different brands, different formulas, different textures, but I feel like you can't think of fall, Halloween, grungy makeup without thinking about Melt Cosmetics. It was hard. Like, honestly, this whole video could have probably been Melt Cosmetics, if we're being honest. But I decided to pull out two from what I own. First is the She's in Party palette. If you are like a purple, plummy, even burgundy eyeshadow lover, this is a great palette. Purples are not the easiest to formulate or to work with. This one, the, the eyeshadows just blend beautifully, are super pigmented. Highly recommend this palette. And it was really hard to narrow down the melt palettes. Like the um, 24 palette that I fit in here, the Gemini palette. They're beautiful palettes. But again, I didn't want to keep being repetitive with the color stories. Like I've already shown you like olives and mustards. But what I'm actually wearing on my eyes today is the Muerte palette. This palette, when they re-released it, I missed it the first time. I kept saying, oh, I'll buy it. I'll buy it next week. I'll buy it next week. I'll buy it next week. And then it disappeared for like years. And I was like, wow, I wish I would have purchased that. But they re-released it and I purchased it this time. And this is what this looks like. You don't see a color store like this every day. And not for nothing, Melt makes some of the best matte eyeshadows in in the makeup world. If we're being if we're being honest. Like this red, it's not patchy, it's pigmented, it's going to stay in my eyes, but it's just a price I'm willing to pay for <laughs> a red eyeshadow. But you've got these blues, you've got these beautiful like teals, turquoise, like it's just such a different color story. I absolutely adore this. And the packaging, so beautiful. All right, and I'm down to my last palette. Honestly... If you only had to buy one palette for fall, this palette basically has got you covered for all the color stories, all the finishes, all the everything. This is from Be Perfect, the Carnival, the Antidote palette. First of all, it's giant. But... And you get like a really giant good mirror in here. You have no need for any of those other palettes I mentioned with this palette. You're getting the oranges, the pinks, the reds, a few like taupey neutrals here in the center, some greens, some yellows, dark, dark green up there. Yeah, I mean, it's missing a black, I'd say. It's got a, like a light cream shade, but if you wanted a black, that is something that is missing. I don't think this is black. Maybe it is. I thought it was like a very dark green. No, just kidding. It is black. So you have everything you need in this palette. Pigmented formula blends out really easily. And I feel like this is like always on sale. So if you were interested, try to grab it on a sale. But this is the all-encompassing fall palette only thing I don't like is like how obnoxiously big it is but that is something I knew before I purchased it so if you don't like big palettes maybe this wouldn't work for your collection but if you're someone who just wants like one palette and not having so many palettes with like basically the same colors this one's great all right and those are the 10 palettes I think are perfect for fall I'd rank them as my top 10 color stories and formulas for fall. I'll go ahead and list all the palettes I mentioned today down below. If there is an asterisk, I'd make a small commission if you were to purchase the palette through that link or just purchase the link in general. 
Um, if that makes you uncomfortable, you can just purchase directly from the retailer. Not a big deal. But if you were to do that, I would earn a small commission and I could invest that into this channel. Right now, I'm on a no-buy, but come January 1st, I'm probably going to do some shopping. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Did you see any palettes that you love? Any palettes you're interested in adding into your collection? What is like your number one fall palette? What sort of color story do you go for? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you next time. Take care.